Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this video, we're gonna paint a sea lion in acrylic paint, so let's get started. Let's start with a fine mist sprayer and spray the paper. And then I wanna start with a wash and let's pick up a size five flat brush. And I wanna put a wash of teal paint. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water on the brush and then mix some of that paint into it just to get a nice wash. Let's go ahead and put that down on the sea lion. And if you wanna paint along with me, just go ahead and get this sketch. It's gonna be linked in the description. We're just putting down a nice initial wash, covering up the white of the paper. And I'm not being too precise or too exact with this first initial wash, but I am kind of moving my brush strokes in the direction of form, kind of going along some of these sketch lines. Okay, so that looks like a nice base for us to start with. And now let's add some of the darker values. I'm gonna pick up a size zero spotter Let's take a little bit of black paint and then put the detail of the eye. So I'm just putting that little dot in the middle and then I'm going around the top and bottom lid. Put a little bit of a circle on the top and then let's paint in that nose and then get these lines for the mouth. Just putting those in with this really dark black. And let's see, we could put some little spots for the whisker dots. And then I'm gonna put in a dark spot here for the ear. Okay, and now let's move. I want to do some outlining fairly precisely. I'm gonna grab this old stiff zero spotter that I have. And let's take some of this dark gray. And let's see if we can carefully go around the sketch where these little toes are. And then I'm gonna go around this sketch. I'm gonna go right here, carefully around these little areas of the flippers, I would call them. And then we'll go around this side. We're just outlining and trying to keep the sketch intact. There's some little lines here you can put in for the bottom flippers and let's do some outlining up here around the face. And as we do this, we can kind of blend these lines a little bit as well. You don't want to outline too precisely so that it looks almost like a cartoon because we're going for a semi-realistic um, painting here. Okay, so I'm building some form and building some structure going around these lines. Okay, and just kind of keep going around the edge. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And now let's take another color. I have this um, dark navy color. I think it's called Uniform Blue, it's a craft paint. 
And let's add this to some of the shadows. So we'll put it here, kind of underneath the belly. And just this area here, I want to place that. And just careful, be careful not to cover up these lines here because we don't want to lose the sketch at that point. Okay, and I can put a little bit of water just to dampen my brush and then see if I can blend some of this out. Okay, and I might put some shadow on this side. And then this area here is in shadow. Okay, so we're just putting that nice dark value. And then let's put some darker value around the nose area. some underneath his chin and then we could put maybe a little bit of a shadow here around the ear and we could add some of this in here there's some lines as well that are kind of working in this area to to find the form and the shape. Okay, let's paint in that nose. So we have this dark gray. Let's put that in over the nose. And then let's take this dark blue and pop that in over the eye. Okay, then I might take a little bit of this blue and kind of put it up here. Okay, so now let's switch to a filbert brush. I have a size six here. And let's add some of this white, very opaque white. And I wanna add that to just different places that are the lightest value. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. So this is kind of where the highlights are. And like I said, the lighter values. So up here around the face. And I'm trying a little bit not, I'm trying kind of to be careful not to cover up that eyelid, but I think I did a little bit. And then I'm going to make kind of a cheek bone right here. So I'm just kind of sculpting these areas. Let's put a little bit of a light color there. Okay. So just any areas that you want to be highlighted, that you want to stick out. Think about the direction of where the light is coming from on the form. Could put a little bit of a highlight there. It's kind of showing up on these paws and they're flippers, so be careful not to make them look like a paw. You want them to be um, still presenting as flippers. Then we could put a little bit of a highlight here. Just thinking about where that light would be hitting the shape. Okay, so at this point you'd want that to dry pretty completely before moving on to the next step. Okay, so while that's drying, let's put a little bit of a shadow under him. So I'm gonna take this teal that we did for an underpainting 
and try to get it fairly watery. And then let's see if we could just put a little bit of a shadow here. So he needs something to kind of sit on and ground him so he's not floating in space. Okay, so now I want to mix up this zinc white, which is a mixing white, which is transparent rather than opaque. And then I'm mixing it with a light gray. And then I want to add quite a bit of water onto that to make a glaze. And then let's see if we can glaze this on top of the sea lion. You can go right on top of the white paint and on top of the dark paint as well. And I'm going to carefully kind of go around the eye. We want some of that underpainting to still show through, but we can re-emphasize it a little bit later as well. But let's go ahead and add this gray. And I'm thinking about the direction of form with these brush strokes. Trying to make them fairly clean because they're going to be showing here. Yeah, we're just applying the paint right on top of the work that we did underneath. And this is kind of creating some cohesion, bringing all of those colors together, bringing those layers together. And you can get kind of close to the the edge as well. Okay, and I'm just going to use up all this paint. Okay, so you can kind of see everything starting to come together. Okay, and now let's add some of the finer details. And you could let that dry first if you wanted to. But let's add a little bit of a white highlight back onto the face. And we'll add a little bit of a white highlight back over here. Okay, and then I'm going to take this zero spotter and some of this darker value. And I just want to go back in and kind of reinstate some of this detail here. Just some of those darker colors that we lost. Okay, and then we'll put this one back. Okay, and then take a little bit of black and then we can put that nostril back in there and then the mouth as well. We'll take some of this gray and put it where the muzzle is. And then I'll take some gray and add, re-emphasize that eyelid. And kind of smooth that out. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good. I'm gonna take that zero spotter and put in that white of the eye. So just take a little bit of white and put his 
little highlight. I'm going to put a little bit of a highlight for the nose. Okay. And then anywhere else that you wanted just to emphasize a little bit more light, you could do that. Okay. And then I'm going to take, I have some acrylic markers here. I'm going to take the silver first and I'm just going to add in, I have this, it's dual sided. This one's a little bit more of a fine tip and I'm just going to carefully put in just like a few wisps for the whiskers. And I use the marker just because it's a lot easier to get these really fine lines with the marker than it is with your brush. Then you would want this area to be dry. It's a little bit wet. It's kind of lifting some of the paint. So then once that's dry, I'm taking a black. The first one was silver, if I didn't say that. And now this is a black. And we can kind of re-emphasize some of these little spots and then see if we can put in the whiskers. You might have lost your sketch at this point. Just see if you can carefully just kind of wisp them in. Okay. Okay, so I think we'll call him complete for now. So I hope you get to paint along and try this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye.